around here. No. Ah, uh, this is going to be a lot of bumbling. This is going to be a whole lot of bumbling. I don't like it when I bumble. When I fumble in the bumble. I'm missing something. I am definitely missing something. It should just appear. There should be like a spot somewhere where it's just like it starts glowing or something. Oh, fucking hell. Am I seriously just stuck for some reason? Hang on. I shouldn't really be using this, but... I'm honestly lost right now. So, we're outside of the, uh, cave. Is the nerd? Oh, God damn it! The bird's nest is back down there. That's why I was fucking thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong? There's a bird's nest around here. I don't know why, but there is. I'm trying to remember where though. There! There it is! There was a bird's nest up on a small ledge, but it was out of reach. Yeah, cause you need this. That did the trick. Jeez, I couldn't fucking notice it! God, now. Well, this is important, because then I can actually use this for burning material. Oh, God. I had to look at a walkthrough to find the fucking bird's nest. <sighs> I am sorry if I am being really stupid right now. I'll admit it. That was... That should not have taken me so long to find. Now we can use it. This was my kindling. Now we can burn the bitch. Look, monsieur. The evil. It is come. Oof! 
Oh, you fool. Ouch! Crap. Get up. George! Quickly! Over here! Imbeciles! It's a trick! Get back here now! Come on, Harry. We gotta get out of here. Why ahead of you, mate? Go, go, go! As the lunatic Aussie saved my life, I was certain of one thing. I wasn't going to the office in Idaho. I'd had my fill of patents. Nope. I was going to England to find the mysterious Bruno. Yep. We're going to England. Glastonbury, England. Home to more legends and mystical baloney than you could wave a wand at. Joseph of Arimathea was supposed to have traveled here from the Holy Land. And he didn't do it to buy an overpriced crystal. Somewhere in amongst all this New Age hokum was a guy called Bruno, and I was going to find him. Hopefully it won't take me goddamn hours to do this. Alright. Let's look around for a bit. Alright. Can't go that way. There's a door here. Can I go inside? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, hello there. Good morning. Oh, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? Well, yeah, isn't it? No, sir, it is not. What's so bad about it, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I might. Not possible, sir. Unless you're a father, and you're not, are you? Well, no, but how did you know? Look at you. Callow face, unfurrowed brow, air of profound optimism. Okay. So just what is it that only a father would understand? I could tell you, but you wouldn't comprehend. Try me. I kept sea monkeys once. I mean, how different could it be? Very well. Are you aware of the annual Glastonbury Popular Music Festival? The Glastonbury Popular Music Festival? Hmm. That's one of the most popular music festivals on the Popular Music Festival calendar. My daughter, Melissa, attended it this year. Against my wishes, of course. You're not a fan, huh? My dear boy. Joining a throng of semi-clad youngsters, gyrating in a mindless hypnotic trance to music which turns their hearts into yo-yos, all the while feasting on hippie fast food, strange alcoholic concoctions, and mind-bending hallucinogenic substances is not my idea of fun! Whoa, bring it on! I beg your pardon? I said, did your daughter enjoy it? She <laughs> didn't come back. Ah, have you told the police? This isn't a job for the police. Melissa called me to say she wouldn't be coming home. She called from a Glastonbury number. She's still here somewhere. And if she's taken up with someone, well, I've got my Purdy in the Land Rover. Purdy? Twelve bore, double barrel, vermin for the extermination of... Oh, boy. Well. Uh. Recognize this? Glastonbury Tor. What do you know about the Tor? Good place to deploy artillery. Right. Okay, thanks. Good enough. My name's George Stobart. A Yank, eh? Colonel Buckley. Rutland Lancers. Third Battalion. Retired. You know, I had a feeling you might be a soldier. Can take the fella out of the army. Can't take the army out of the fella, eh? It could have been that. It might also have been the aura of latent violence that surrounded him. <laughs> Does this ID card mean anything to you? It's not yours. Never seen the chap. Did you find it? Yeah. Then you should hand it in at the police station. Okay. Good talking to you. Uh, let's see. Can we go in this door? The place looked empty. Great. Can we go in here? No buskers, circulars, hawkers. I thought I'd leave them alone. All right. How about this door? I tried to open the door, but it was securely locked. Damn it. Why is every door locked? You, what do you want? Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. How fascinating. Two T's and two B's. You'd be amazed how many people get it wrong. Ah, nothing amazes me these days. Eamon O'Mara. You're Irish? 
No, no, I'm from Hawaii. The Maui Amaras. You're not from Hawaii. No, I'm not. I lied. Very astute of you to see through it. You clearly have a lucid and highly rational cognitive process. So what do you want, Mrs. Stobart? Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the tour. What do you think of the town? It's a theme park. So where'd the tourists go? I don't know. Maybe it's out of season for hippies. Okay. You sightseeing? I'm researching. Outside a pub? I'm researching the alacrity with which this place opens. In a civilized society, a man should be able to get a drink at this hour. It's ten o'clock in the morning. Precisely. You can't need a drink that much, can you? Ah, oh, now that's a complicated question. Let's discuss it over a beer. Uh, it's too early for me. Very wise. I'll be rattled before me time. Me liver riddled with the cirrhosis. Rattled and riddled. Ah, well. So, what do you do? Um, good morning. I'm Eamon O'Mara, and today I'm in the enchanting town of Glastonbury. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Of yeah. course you haven't. Now, wait a minute. I'm here as a professional media Irishman, researching my new BBC program. Oh, you're putting uh, together a TV show. Bingo! Give the man a figurative coconut. I visit villages, interview the local characters, sample the local cuisine. What's the show called? Up Your Alley with Eamon. Nice. And you're doing this place next? That's that finely tuned cognitive process of yours in action again, isn't it? Let's talk about the Colonel. Have you seen that guy walking up and down? The army type. Mm, kind of Englishman I'm allergic to. Oh? Why's that? Well, if you have a couple of hundred years, I'll explain it to you. I'm uh, worried he might be out to kill someone. Ah, now you're beginning to understand my allergy. How did you get into television? By accident. I was doing a reading at a bookshop in London. This wild-eyed BBC producer wanders in, points at me like I'm the second coming, and says, You'll do, you'll do! You're a writer? Wash your mouth out, I'm a poet. Poetry is a gift to the Irish from the gods themselves. Yeats, Wilde, Joyce, Bono. Don't push your luck. I may have the soul of a poet, but I've the fists of a welterweight. Uh. Do you know much about this place? It's got half decent pubs when they're open. Oh, I see. You want to know about the fairy stuff, don't you? Fairies? You see that hill? Yeah. Fairies guard King Arthur's sword Excalibur under that. Really? No. I don't think he knows any of this other stuff. Okay, well the pub seems to be closed according to him. Just must have a look at the other side of the street then. I guess that being the middle of the morning, most people were at work. Damn it. I think that's not gonna open. Is this gonna open? Please do. Yes! I don't even know where I am. Where am I? Looking at this. The stand contained postcards, pictures of local beauty spots, the usual stuff. And suddenly, there it was. A stack of cards just like the one I'd found in the Congo. I was on the right trail. Great. Alright, what else can we find? Can't really examine much. Uh, wait, wait. I saw that. The stand contained postcards. Yeah, yeah I know. Pictures of local beauty spots, the usual stuff. I can't skip this. This. Inside the case was a star-shaped gizmo. The little card by it said, Elder Sign. Guaranteed proof against elder gods and outer entities. Could have used that a few years ago. Eh. Yeah. Well then, let's talk to this guy, shall we? The guy looked like the world's uptightest hippie. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Welcome to the Cosmic Fairy. I am Tristram Hillage, the proprietor. May I help you? I hope so. Actually, there is something I want to clearly look at. It's right here. Miss Granger's Perfect Potions. Love potions, money potions, potions to make you taller. There was something in the small print. Granger Publications cannot take responsibility for side effects or failures in primary potion effects. Guess even witches fear the wrath of the litigation lawyer. I didn't want the chart. Okay. Is there anything else, actually? 
Wait, there is. These were the kind of books that sat and glowered at you, casting the runes, the real Eltdown shards, Karnaki the ghost finder. Even the air felt cold near them. I didn't want any of the books. Not my idea of a holiday read. Okay. And nothing else here. Really. Huh, okay. I thought the star was cute, but I didn't really need it. Okay. Well, let's talk to you then. Hi again. Let's talk about the tour. I guess Glastonbury's a pretty mystical place. Almost too mystical to bear. Joseph Barimathea journeyed here. Yeah? The tale of King Arthur, Guinevere and Excalibur finishes here. Wow. And the tour, that big hill, is the gateway to Avalon, the land of fairy. We also get crop circles, UFO sightings. Is that everything? Well, then there's the ghosts, hellhounds, spectral lights. Okay, okay, it's mystical already. All right, how about you, Tristan? How's business? Rather good, actually. Seems quiet. You just missed the rush. What kind of people shop in a place like this, anyway? People with open minds. Do you keep your mind open to new possibilities? Oh, constantly. Some of the things I'd seen, I'd be a fool not to. How about the postcard? Do you stock these postcards? Yes, one of our exclusive best sellers. Do you supply any of the other shops with these? No, that's what exclusive means. Really? I never knew that. Evidently. How else may I illuminate your path? Does the name Bruno mean anything to you? Hmm. Bruno. Bruno. No, I don't think so. Really? Yes, really. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I've never even met anyone called Bruno. You seem very positive. His tone made me immediately suspicious. Yeah. Something tells me you're not on the level. Who is Bruno? Where can I find him? I don't know who you're talking about. Now get out of my shop, you annoying man. Oh, I'll get out. Once you've answered a few questions. Oh, God. You're not a tax inspector, are you? Hell no. I may be a lawyer, but I still got a few shreds of pride left. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fucking with you. Are you gonna tell me who Bruno is or not? Not. Don't forget, you're dealing with a lawyer here. An American lawyer. I can't see our local Bobby being impressed. This guy was gonna be a tougher nut to crack than I thought. I'll give you one last chance to come clean. Get lost. I was getting nowhere. This was why I was in patents and not criminal law. Hey, there's someone moving around up there. Nonsense. It's just an old building. You must think I'm pretty stupid. Bruno's upstairs. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, I'll just not even worry. Enchanted Avalon, Lays of a Mystical Age. Well, this looked like big fun. Ah, you found my little oeuvre. I guess for an oeuvre, it is quite small. What do you mean? It's a book of poetry. It could be any size. Nice cover. Thank you. My choice, actually. I self-publish. The big publishers just don't understand spirituality. What's the deal with the coins? Joseph of Arimathea bringing the Holy Grail here, Arthur and Guinevere being buried here, and of course, St. Michael defeating the dragon on the tour. Each silver coin commemorates an event in Glastonbury's history. History? Sounded more like folklore to me. Silver, you say? Well, the silver plated. I have a dear friend who does them for me. Interesting. On the counter were copies of the little poetry book with the coins in the covers. Okay. And now I can't move. On the counter were copies of the little poetry book with the coins in the covers. Okay, whenever I do that button, it just kind of makes me have this animation and I'm stuck with it for a bit. For there was lightning in my blood, my dark Morgana, 
my own Morgana. Oh, there was lightning in my blood. Red lightning lightened through my blood. My dark Morgana. What do you think? Uh, pretty good. Yes, I was rather pleased with it myself. Darkness or the world is creeping. Slumber while the heavens are weeping. More good stuff. Maybe my first impressions have been wrong. Can I read more? If any man slay me, not unaware, by no chance blow, nor in wine or revel, I have stored beforehand a curse in my prayer for his kith and kindred. His deed is evil. I didn't have time to read any more of the poems. Okay. Anything else I can look at? Like... Hey! Customers are not allowed upstairs! Right. <sighs> On the wall was a chart telling me everything I ever wanted to know about pentacles. It could have been a lot shorter and done the same job. Hmm. I didn't want to take the chart. Okay. I think we're done here. Let's leave. Let's talk to some people. Let's talk to the walking man again. Yeah, you. Hello again. How's it going, Colonel? Uh, let's talk about e Eamon. Eamon O'Mara. That guy over there looks suspicious to me. Ah, I've seen suspicious, and he isn't it. Oh, so what does suspicious look like? Take a glance in the mirror sometime, young fella. That's an interesting shop. The Cosmic Fairy. Places full of woolly-minded liberals and frou-frou socialists. So I guess you won't be opening a charge account there. Don't be fatuous. But I've got my eye on the place. That Hillage fellow is up to something. What do you think goes on in there? I've been asking around. He used to rent his spare room out. Claims it's empty now. But I've seen a light on him there after he's gone home. Maybe the little people are having a poker game. He's <laughs> harboring somebody. I bet my wife on it. I'd even bet the dog on it. Really? Well, let's continue on down then. Actually, let's talk to Amar again. Hi, Eamon. Oh, Eamon. There we go. Have you been in that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Oh, yeah. I always go there for me love beads. I was just asking. I'll show you the postcard. Does this postcard mean anything to you? No, should it? I guess not. It was a long shot. Who's Bruno? I wish I knew. How about the ID card? Does this ID card mean anything to you? It's an unflattering photo. It doesn't look anything like you. That isn't me. No, didn't think so. You're one of those godforsaken photogenic types, aren't you? And no, it doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Good talking to you. Alright. It's only two, only freaking people and places I know of right now that might be of use. I'm going back in. I'm thinking now that I talked to these guys, something might have changed here. Hi again. Eh, uh, sort of did. Have you ever seen the guy on this card before? No, I haven't. Good enough. Okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, doesn't really give me anything. Actually... Actually... Wait. Wait. I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to remember an area. Uh, it's right up above here. I think it was right here. No. Anybody home? Okay, I think no. I think it was that building right there. This one. Nobody no. was in. Or maybe they just didn't want to talk to me. Probably. What this door? Fuck. Hello? Anybody home? I wasn't leaving until I'd finished what I'd come here to do. I wasn't leaving either. I'm looking for freaking anything new. 
Why are you going in the middle of the road, George? Why would you even think to go there? There has to be something I'm missing. So I keep doing that for some reason. Wait, here it is. This place. Okay, this place is important. Yeah, this chick. Hi, I'm... Nobody tell me. Me a Madam Zazi. Me no all. I me see all. Sit down, you. You have traveled far? Oh, sure. Like my accent was local? You come for the truth? And another no-brainer. <laughs> Judge Stubar. What? Stubar? How did you... Me no all. <laughs> me see all. Okay. I had to admit, that stumped me. Okay, uh, let's talk about the postcard. Recognize this postcard? Mm hmm. It is the tour. These are for CL and the Cosmic Berry. Yeah, that was where it was bought. I need to find out about who sent it, though. Give it to me now. What? Why? Sometime. There is psychic traces. Ew. Me may be able to read the traces left by this Bruno when he wrote upon it. Aren't we forgetting something? Uh, please? You must cross my palm with silver. Oh, oh right, sure. Okay, uh, I got a credit card here somewhere. Me no no except credit card, you know. I've got some euros, I think. Me no take euros. Hmm. How about doubloons? Gold ingots? A barter stick? It's only silver me except, you know. Okay then. Well, we need that book. What do your powers tell you about that man outside the pub? Him come from across the sea. Him have strongly held opinions. Him seek knowledge, but not for himself. All that from your crystal ball? No, him just on the telly. That's him on Omara. What do you make of that guy pacing up and down the street? His aura glow red with anger. Kinda matches his nose then. Him I lost something dear from himself, and him can't do nothing to prevent it. Well, we all have to let go sometime. What do you know about that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Them sell candle, incense, mm-hmm. But the owner, Tristam Hillage, oh, me know him overwrought. There is anxiety in his aura. Got his karma in a twist, huh? I'm just trying to lighten the atmosphere. How long have you lived in Glastonbury? Long time. The tour generate way above positive energy. And tourist revenue. A girl can't live on good vibrations alone, huh? We didn't get much, because we need silver. And I know exactly where we can get silver. Let's go back to the Cosmic Fairy real quick. By the way, while I'm playing this cam, I'm going to deliver some pizza here. Hope you guys don't mind. Hi again. What do you make of that fortune teller? Madam Zazi. Very traditional. Crystal ball, tea leaves, tarot, the usual. You say you had trouble getting this published? Publishers? Ha! Philistines, the lot of them. What you need is to raise your profile. Advertise, you mean? Oh, I can't afford that. How about a little spot on the BBC? Eamon O'Mara's new show? That would be marvellous. Oh, but impossible, of course. Ah, don't worry. Eamon and I go, oh, way, way back. At least five minutes. Want me to have a word with him? He's right here in Glastonbury. Would you do that? Oh, thanks. Thanks awfully. I'll need to show him some of your work. Yes, of course. Here, take a copy. I'm sure he'll love your stuff.